welcome back to SVSU Rocket League Esports. We're back here for playoffs, and we have uh, well, the C team and B team in playoffs, right? I believe. Yeah, first round of playoffs. C team plays the Edmund Borough Fighting Scots, and B team plays Ohio Defiance College, uh, the Hornets, I believe. Yeah. I don't know if they have an official. I'm sure they have an official name, but the, yeah, they're the Hornets. Um, <laughs> Very important game for both of these teams. Actually, in the fall semester playoffs, the Rocket League B team played both of these teams. Um, Rocket League C team was placed in the same conference as Edmund Burroughs B team. And they seem to have quite a bit of a history together. There, there was definitely... Um, it's chaos. He, he's, very, he's very outspoken. Uh, with, 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 yeah, he's very outspoken with his <laughs> words, and he's a very vocal individual. Um, Definitely going to be a very hard played game on both sides. Same thing with Defiance College. There, there was some unfortunate circumstances. The, the, the scheduling got very complicated at the, uh, at the tournament down actually being hosted by Defiance College last semester. So um, when SVSU played Defiance College, they unfortunately also lost. But again, very close games. Definitely something that can be won again this time. It uh good circumstances coming and everybody's got time to warm up they're in their comfortable environments and it's going to be a good game on both on both sides i'm very excited to see oh yeah i can't wait i mean rocket league playoffs be awesome by the way i'm doug and uh this is not Ustay with me but i'm pash you see me some other nights for league of legends you see me behind the camera i'm all places at all times yeah and uh let's just say that uh evan or Ustay just got snowed in or something he can make something up right <laughs> but, uh, but unfortunately wasn't able to make it here tonight U Ustay's but... an adult man he he had his own <laughs> obligations that he had to go and take care of yeah but i'm here don't worry about that so. exactly we, we got doug we got one residential and one fill-in who knows what he's talking about so we're gonna have a good mm -hmm. night here at rocket league but uh yeah so we we're just waiting here for uh, the c's team's game to start Get a little bit of soon. get a little bit of behind the scenes action here while we watch Emperor warm up here. We're gonna see what, what oh we're looking at the history of his training packs. Let's see here. He's going into some custom shot training. <laughs> some aerial off the wall. Maybe this is a double shot or a double tap training pack. I wasn't able to see which one he picked. <laughs> looking yeah. like he's going for double tap. So Looks maybe we'll maybe we'll get to see some clips hit here. I mean, hey, he's oh oh he's getting close. <laughs> yeah, get that little double tap spike going on. Come on, hit something oh. nasty. Yeah, no, a shot right in. That's we can't accept that. Yeah, that's uh, too easy. Yeah, no, I, Ryan's way too. It's above his pay grade, <laughs> or no, that's below his pay grade. My mistake. <laughs> well, anyways, I mean, with Rocket League playoffs here, so I know that you are a sub, I believe, for C team. Right? Yes. How do you think C team is going to fare in these games here? I mean, obviously, I've been watching, I've been commentating a lot of these games here, and they've been absolutely dominant. Um, unfortunately, I don't, I know, I don't believe we said anything last. Uh, last week in the stream but they did lose uh their undefeated streak in the game that we didn't stream uh, very week. close game very, very close. close game they ended game in game five, five yeah. and it was i think down to pretty much the last 10 seconds it, it really was it was very close we uh me and Uste were actually watching it room after we uh right down the stream so um i mean i'm pretty excited to see what they're gonna be able to do here it's been a yeah, very good c team this year it's definitely hard to accurately say how these teams are going to go up go up against each other i have very high hopes for the way that uh svsu blue is going to go up against defiance college because defiance college's um their lineup has not changed very much it's it's relatively the same while our b team has actually increased in rank by a couple of members um like we have uh ankuya is he's always been on b team that, that's no change there but now with this season obviously we see we have achi he's a new prospect that we have coming in very awesome player uh, Frogboy, please disable your team chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, getting interrupted by uh, the Rocket League captain here, but <laughs> yeah, we we don't we don't need an interview yet. Yeah, no, we're not yet. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so definitely high hopes for the SVSU Blue Defiance College game. I think SVSU is going to kind of take it to them and do. And maybe we're going to get a stream switch here. Hopefully, um. Mm -hmm. I think that SVSU Blue is going to be able to take it to Defiance College and really really be a driving force. It's going to be a good game no matter what. Defiance College has a very has a fairly good team, but I've got high hopes. And as far as SVSU White goes, they've been doing really good and playing really well as a team throughout the entire semester. And the Fighting Scots, looking at their roster, it it also hasn't changed very much. But the th the thing that I have that you have to be wary about going into this is that 
this is the Fighting Scots B team. And so the last time that SVSU played the Fighting Scots B team, it was Ankuya, Emperor Mushroom, and Frogboy71. Now we have Frogboy71, Emperor Mushroom, and Dad's J-Man. Very similar roster, but with that singular change, it can, you know, it could definitely change some things. May I still have very high hopes with the way that they play, and I think that they can definitely I, I think they can definitely do some damage, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they play. Oh yeah, for sure. It looks like we were loading up here into game one, so. No technical difficulties, knock on wood. <laughs> so far, right? <laughs> but, yep. we shall see. But yeah, I'm... I don't remember if we had... Did we have V-Team last year in playoffs, was that? Or... B team was in playoffs, yeah. yes. A team did not make playoffs, and there was no C team last year. C yep, team is actually that. something new that came together this year. One of the things that me and uh, Evan were talking about last uh, last week was how we're excited about C team kind of coming in, being this new team, and kind of being able to make a, a really good impression for for a season. Yeah, and spe speaking of C team being a new thing, one thing that I would like to bring to attention is if you play Rocket League and you're interested in joining the team. Don't let your rank discourage you. We have quite a large rank disparity. Our highest rank being SSL, the, the highest rank there can be, and our lowest rank was a gold two. There is no rank that we won't accept because we're happy to practice with people and happy to just make friends and help you get better in any way, shape, or form. If you want to make some friends while playing Rocket League and have a good time, then come out to tryouts in the fall semester where we'll be happy to have you. And, of course, that goes for all of our esports teams, too, in terms of getting out there and trying that. And so if you're what, Rocket League, Overwatch 2, League of Legends, uh, Smash, or Valorant, yeah, come out, make some friends, try it out, or if you just like the game, maybe come down to uh, the uh, Student Life Center where we have our watch parties pretty much, I believe, every, t every day that we're streaming, Monday to Friday. Definitely. No matter what type of person you are, there's a place at Student Association and Student Life for you. Whether it's on an esports team, on the media team, in a watch party, or just hanging out doing homework. You know, do, it, do what you gotta do. We're all college students, and it's just a good place to relax and have some fun. And there's very good, positive people. There's no negativity. And it's just a good place for growth and networking. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, it's been pretty fun so far being Definitely. a part of this program. Yeah, I know there's people out there that definitely want to do something on campus, so good yeah. opportunity for that, you know. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see a lot of inspiration when you see some of the people that might be a couple steps ahead of you, and you can see, hey, this this is actually possible. And oh, not yeah. only will you see people that are a couple steps ahead of you, but nine out of ten of them are so happy to help you get to that point, and are so happy to help you grow. And so just even if you aren't the greatest, because I'm not the greatest, I'm a sub for the C team. The connections I've made and the friends I've made getting into this game, we're about to watch them, are friends that I will never regret making. Anyway, we have Emperor Mushroom going up on the wall. We see the ball coming down. It could be setting up for a shot. Night Guy going up for it. Frog Boy's going to go up in the corner. We have Pirates playing defense. And he actually goes in and gets one in. Sure. Frog Boy with the bar down. Yeah. What, a, what a forceful entry. Yeah, right off the face off here. This, this is the old Frog Boy here. What a excellent shot from the corner what an angle i was i was thinking right. that was going to be off the crossbar and mushroom was going to put it yeah. in but nope frog boy doesn't need it he got the solo plays i'm locked early gate or uh, early lead in game one here is to come to the face off yeah regular 50 face off going back into sbsu's corner yes yeah, so you have frog boy coming up looking for a clear maybe not the best one he was going for but still can do something with it pretty wide open here in the midfield of course, as we said, we got Frogboy71, Dash J-Man, and Emperor as your C team here. Let's see what we have. Pirates, Night Guy, and... I'd assume it's Chaos. Oh, Publicity error. error. It's Publicity Chaos error. actually isn't playing. Okay. For, you know, Surprising. Like Scott's right? Well, I mean, there was speak of it's Chaos asking for a reschedule, so maybe he was unable to attend. Yeah, maybe. See, Emperor Mushroom... Bouncing it up in the air, was hoping to maybe get a setup for Dad's jam, and he's going to go off the wall. Got to bump the car, but not the ball, but still, hey, if, if you can't get the ball, get the car. <laughs> exactly. Bumping's very important in the game, too. Oh, 100%. Bumps is what creates goals in ranks like this. Cross for oh, Score. that was unfortunate. Publicity Pu error. Publicity error coming in to clean it up. You yeah. could see that, Um, I believe it was Dad's J-Man was coming down off that, or no, it was Emperor Mushroom come down. He missed flip. Yeah. It was a hard angle to make, but yeah, it did. Good play from, good play from the Fighting Scots, and 
definitely definitely something that SPSU needs to look to look out for. They need to cover up them goal zones a little bit more. For sure, this game is now tied here. 345 remaining. Let's see what happens here, Dash Jamin looking to clear. A little Center. pop over oh, we're looking Pirates. At, oh, that was a strange camera weird, angle. Yeah, weird camera angle. We can clear back to the center here. Um, to put it into the left corner. I don't think we're on director cam anymore. Yeah, so, something's telling me this is different. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. We're back on it. Awesome. Okay, uh, that could have been close. We have Emperor Shumi is going to be good looking for a dribble. He has to pass one. 15 with Publicity Air. Daz J Man coming in for the follow up. Unfortunately, Publicity Air was able to get there first. And that guy going up for a setup. Got the bounce is in. Crossbar. Crossbar. It's Daz J Man able to get the clear. J Man, though, taking it. Center going it's going to be a 50 point. that's getting popped up. If, if Emperor Mushroom had more boost, you could guarantee he was going up for that. Oh, yeah. Cross and that's popped up in front. It was just moving a little bit too fast. It, it was quite locked down with uh, Pirates being there at that back corner. What a save from Frog Boy. Plus, they are putting it back in, but Emperor Mushroom going up the out corner. Got past two of them. Emperor demo. Mushroom hitting a crucial demo. Probably yeah. yeah. clearing it again in the corner. That's you just trying to get out of here. Yeah, it looked like Pirates might have been anticipating the fake on that last play, but Frogboy just wasn't having it. Lucian did clear there. Did clear, clear the down corner. the side. Looks like Night Guy's going to receive it, send it back up the wall. This is a good spot for SVSU. Unfortunately, a miss, miss from Frogboy. Frog yeah. As yeah, J-Man coming up to bounce it off the corner. is going to look for a setup. It's going Centering. up the wall. Maybe going to get touched. Yep. Yep. Night Guy was there. Just hanging on the crossbar waiting to clear it. Frog Boy's gonna clear it back though. You see Night Guy going for that demo. He yeah. just he was not wanting Frog Boy to play <laughs> offense. Frog Boy able to get clear though. A very physical game on the demo side, I gotta say. For sure. Very bump heavy too. Yeah, this has been a very gritty game so far. Two minutes remaining, still tied here. Frog Boy looks for a cap boost here or there. Get out of the yeah, just scraped off a of Pirate's bottom two tires. Amen puts it in the upper corner for SVSU. Pirates missing that. It's it's pretty free in the corner, and Frog Boy is going to go Centering. for a setup. I definitely think he wanted to get a shot on that one. Yeah, most likely there. No one was there. Hit that one in. But in, in the age-old thing of Rocket League, I don't care how good at the game you are, you got to put it to oh, the no. side. Oh, no. Uh, I think maybe a communication error there. Yeah, I would say Dash Demon. But at the same time, bit. I mean, I think they were both boostless because I know that Frog Boy was boostless coming into that. Yeah. I think they were both. Oh, he had a little bit of boost. It. But it was a tough ball to hit, get overall. Unfortunate there. They take a 2-1 lead here against SGSU. The fight Still stacks. a minute and a half left in the game. Very even game yes. overall. Pretty much, it was a good shot by Frog Boy, and then the two goals that Edinburgh scored has been kind of off of unfortunate plays. So really, I think that's what's going to decide this game, is being able to capitalize on those little mistakes. Yeah, I mean, as we like to say, though, uh, anything can happen, right? Definitely. Especially in a one-point lead, this game could go on another five minutes without without the ball touching the ground. Well, for a shot, it's going to hit the crossbar, and Frogboy bumps it out. Yeah, definitely good that Frogboy bumped that, because he was going for the double tap, and it looked like he was pretty well lined up for it. Yeah. Public Brook going for a setup to Pirates. A little too far out. Still in the corner now. They're playing a, they're playing a force. Oh, they're playing a forceful, and um, some of them are even close to Pirates scores. Yeah, that was definitely a good play. They've been breaking up yeah. the offense for a while. Night guy coming up off the crossbar, and then Pirates just comes in and puts it away. There really, there really wasn't much that could be done. Wow. Now it's uh, three one there for. Hey, we're, we're, we're playing the. Edinburgh Fighting Scots. And, okay. Yep. Oh, oh no! They're gonna get the goal off for it. No, no, they're not. So close. Wow, that was a good face off. Could have. Fought this game very good face that, off but but it was unfortunate that nobody was there to put it away okay though both teams are finding their stride and they're i don't know Frog it's and pirates missing that one but i think pirates going from block definitely 22 seconds left this has your chances of tying this one up or one link about a second here that guy goes for a shot but probably was going to get out and bounce off of them from mushroom not exactly the play that they wanted but Another person. Yeah. Looks like, unfortunately, game one's going to be going to the Edinburgh Fighting Scots, but a good performance on both teams' part. I'm really enjoying this series already. Oh, yeah. This has been very good. Ball is still up, though. Who knows if you want to get bad in with nothing there. The Fighting Scots take game one here. Three to one. Yeah, no, that was a very good game. I would say a very physical game from, from old cars there, even though it's...
fiscal very sure <laughs> yeah definitely yeah, i mean yeah, you, you, know. you can you <laughs> can brush off and say that they're junk goal, those two goals the fighting scots got are junk goals all you want but a, a goal is a goal and i mean if exactly. you it, it could take a demo it could take a bump or it could just take hammering it and missing the goal seven times and getting us out of position to get a goal but at the end of the day a goal is a goal yeah and I mean, it's something you see where it's like sometimes just like a lucky bounce here and there that makes a difference Exactly. There's some unfortunate kickoff goals where they're going like 200 kilometers an hour, and you're just like, yeah. well, what do I do? Exactly. Nothing you can do, really. Just unfortunate. Doing, someone's going for boost, someone's doing this, and it's like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, those, those split seconds where everything just falls apart for them, you know. Now it's for frog a good handoff to Frog one. Boy. Yeah. Let's see if we can capitalize on this. Maybe Frog Boy going up the wall. Pirate's able to get a little bit of a touch just to get mess up Frog Boy's momentum. He's there, though. So his knife guys. Um, Couldn't quite get it on top of his car in time for the flick. Dad's J-Man going up to try and defend, um, setting up a setup. Actually, uh, looks like... I think I was looking for Felicity Error, but I think he went soon. Yeah, I'm, bl I'm blanking on one of the players' names, Night Guy. Yeah, Night, Night Guy, guy uh, <laughs> missed the setup. Because of old caps, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's okay, man. Boy, boy, though, coming in. Getting get a little started. cut. Publicity here, not fall for that cut. Yeah. Big 50 from Pirates. Ooh. Yeah, been missing that, that, one. that guy in the corner. Yeah, very center. fast moving ball. And it's. I, honestly, I gotta say, the Fighting Scots are a very mobile team. They're definitely yeah. all over the place. Publicity and I don't even mean that in a bad way. Hey, man. Because you could be very mobile in Rocket League and end up just costing your team uh, actual power. But these guys are moving around. Ooh, shot from M from Luke. I think he hit the post, though. Pirates on the counter attack though. Off by Frogboy hits the post barely. Still in front score, Night Guy. The Fighting Scots that take the first goal in this game here. Yeah, just unfortunate turn of events there. It takes a weird bounce off the post and leaves Dead Jamin up to try there. Not really much you can save off of that. So. Yeah, definitely Frogboy going up. He had an awkward angle and he was able to hit it, but it kind of hit off his wheels a little bit weird and just caused a bounce that nobody was able to really get count there. for. There's a shot. Ooh, and the What a save from Dad's Jamin. Yeah. I think not that was both him and Moose from going for it. It's the corner of the crossbar there. Not too many frames you have to be making that save. You yeah. got to you got to be crucial with what I don't even know how to describe. It. You got to be <laughs> crucial with how much boost you're using, what the angle of your car is. Being able to hit saves that are that quick with just the tip of your car is so unbelievably difficult, no matter how easy it looks. Yeah. See, Dad, J-Man going for a shot, being able to put oh. it away. Yeah, J-Man ties it up here with about three minutes left. Good shot though. Point Definitely, in. he was able to capitalize. Saw Night Guy hesitated to go up and wasn't able to get up in time, and he capitalized. He hammered it in. Yep, and that ball has bounced out enough to have enough room for a shot like that. That's a high game here. One right after the other here too. So. Definitely, Publicity Air is going up in the corner for a setup. Um, looks like he's going to try and bump it. He looked like he was 50 with Frog Boy. Yep. Frog Boy was able to get there first. They're going up the side of the corner. Good 50 from Frog Boy. Getting Not popped ahead. up. Might see Daz J Man go for a 50. No. Pirates gonna bounce into the corner. Can get a shot off here. Frog Boy should be able to defend that one. Daz J Man gets it. There, yeah. Let's see putting back in the center for Pirates now. Looks like Frog Boy's gonna clear. The guy putting it back. I think that's on net. Ooh, Daz J Man comes out of nowhere to save that one. Night guy looking to put it back. Pirates the shot. Save from Frog Boy. One, one wow. thing I'm hoping to see from the SVSU side is a little bit more ball control. I'm noticing there's a lot of big clears that are going straight to another Fighting yeah. Scots player. Felicity with the shot, but hits the goes wide to the right. A lot of offense here for the Fighting Scots. SVSU is fighting for their life out here on defense. Day we have a bit of an opening here. Yeah. Get a shot off. Off, hit the, off cross the cross bar. Yeah. Maybe we can have somebody capitalize. Oh, I no think he bumped there. Dad's J-Man on accident. He did, yeah. Well, SVSU is able to clear there, but trying to get some offense, of course. Okay, Frog Boy taking it to the side. Going for a follow up. Looks like Daz J. Man. Oh, Man from Mushroom actually pops it up. Nope. back in now. Mushroom Pirates away from fighting for it. Nope, Pirates misses that. Mushroom Man from Mushroom's capitalizing. He's going for a dribble. Gets a good 50. He should be able to get a setup off of this. Going for it. Maybe even a shot. It's on net. Yeah, and Pirates gets it out. With Pirates. It's, it's not the right though. Good and look Jamie by M for Mushroom. You're seeing a lot of 50s in this. The speed that both of these teams have is very similar. Yeah. The ball's getting center right now. Pirates hits it out for Mushroom to get a shot off on it. Yeah, Mushroom needs to grab some boost. 
Um, <laughs> hey, you see him going back right now. That J Man's there too, though. Good 50 there for publicity. He's getting out. We're looking for a shot at Pirates. Very close game. We're approaching one minute remaining. and Yeah, still tied at one. See, I'm from Mushroom. He's got a little bit of room to operate. Not enough, unfortunately. Frog boy, he's gonna go for a 50 that goes wide field uh, over to Emperor Mushroom and Night Guy. He sh might be able to get something off of this. Shot, save publicity error. Yes, Jimmy, rebound hits the post. So I think Frog boy was going for a demo, but it got dodged. It was definitely the right idea. Uh, one demo and that ball would have went in. Frog boy gets it out of there. The guy puts it back on net. Mushroom the 50. Not the bump we want. Not the touch that that you want. Oh, really Phantom hot, though, touch, Jimmy, but, but, it. Ooh, score publicity error. Oh, and that seals the deal there for the fighting Scots, I would say. 18 seconds left. Oh, anything yeah. can happen in Rocket League. It's a one-point difference. Keep it up oh, in the I, air. Oh, I know, but, I mean, just a devastating goal for SVSU. I mean, being down one in the series definitely would want to win this game to make it even. But, fortunate for, uh, for the SVSU Cardinals here. The fighting Scots take a late lead here. Move from the a shot! Hit the See? post And scores. that's why I told you. No, because I know, you got to keep your hopes up, because we have somebody called Emperor Mushroom. <laughs> No, that's what me and Usei say every stream, like at least 10 times. Anything can happen. Here we go, SVSU tying the game late. And we see twos across the board. The fight has got second goal here. Now we are tied at two. Game two, very important for SVSU to win, kind of get their momentum back. Very crucial this, goal, and definitely a momentum killer for the Fighting Scots, because they thought they had that game sealed. Oh, of course they did. But no, once again, it's a good, another good goal off the uh, faceoff here. And it's going into overtime. Yeah. A lot of game goals two. we've seen off of uh, the face off opportunities. So. Game two OT with two goals on each side. It's just twos everywhere. You know, we I see just probably watch. getting a good touch. Pirates able to control it out from the goal. You know, I just watch. Yeah, J-Man might go for a spike. Oh, big save from nobody? I don't know. It didn't give credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't really see it there. Because it, it looked like they pinched it out, but usually it'll still give somebody a save. Maybe, it, maybe one of our players saved it. Yeah, that guy looking um, night guy looking for a setup, able to get that one out. Up in the air, Pirates is... Gets it out, though. That was definitely a scary play with Pirates coming up and looking for that spike. Like at the shot, Mushroom with the save is still yeah, time Jamie in front needs to go net. up and block Blitz this. The air with the and shot. Mushroom with the Mushroom clear. Mushroom gets it out. Wow. Very scary, they were, uh, SVSU was very compacted and Centered again. three of them Pirates. were in a matter of oh, 10 feet. Miss. With a miss, guy the triple two. whiff. What are we seeing right now? This is Rocket League! Oh this my. is Rocket League! <laughs> wow, the playing shots really could have put this game away right there. They don't, and publicity there, a shot is blocked. I didn't see it, but it was a good save. Pirates putting it back in the center, and D-Man, though, getting it out of there. This is an insane OT on both on yeah. both sides. I can't believe it. White Scots are fighting to get this game here. Everybody's fighting. Oh, Hit low shot post. by Night Guy right off the post. Yeah. It's up in the air. Frog Boy whiffing. Frog Boy flying, missing it through the air. Uh, publicity air, losing his momentum thanks to Frog Boy. Emperor with the save, save, clearing it. Big clear. What SDSU clear. needs right now. They're able to take the offensive a little bit more. Frog Boy getting a setup. Oh, oh unfortunate demo. Big demo there is Pirates demos Emperor Yeah, but that's definitely Frog the right play. Up, oh, yeah. we're having a little bit of freeze issues. We're back at it. Emperor yeah. is up the wall. Maybe looking for a setup. Nah, he, he backed out. Oh, wait, because we're on the wrong side. Oh, and unfortunately, Publicity, Air, publicity Air taking game two in OT. Very wow. well fought OT by both teams. Now, the Fighting Scots really did come out fighting for this one, though, for sure. And that's. They get the overtime goal here. It puts them up a big lead here, 2 0 in the series. Unfortunately, it's a C team here. And if I'm. I'm almost positive, but don't quote me on this. I believe that they are still best of three matches until semifinals and grand finals of playoffs, in which they become. Or not best of three. I think they're best of fives right now, and then during playoffs they become best of sevens. About to say your guess is as good as mine, so we'll find out. <laughs> uh, if I'm remembering correctly, and as long as they haven't changed any rules, so I believe it still is a five team series. So I feel as like, far as I know, I feel it's like Frogway would have told us. <laughs> as far as I know, it's a match point for the Edinburgh Fighting Scots. Yeah. This is the place where SVSU likes to do their work, though. Just remember the game back last year during the watch party. That when they played SIU, they were down 2-0 against the best team in the league. They were completely undefeated, and they didn't get, they didn't put their heads down. They kept their mentality. Fires the shot. Daz J Man is going to be able to be there to save that. There was plenty of time to take care of that. Yeah. SIU was or SIU had SVSU on the ropes, and they were able to keep their mentality up and still fight it and go for the reverse sweep. As 
The one thing that, that about watching our team, even if I don't play with them all the time, it's it's taught me so much about mentality because there's so many times where I tell I tell myself it's Jover, and then you know what? It's not. They 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 find a way to bring it back, and I believe in my boys. Oh no, I definitely. I mean, we've seen some reverse sweeps in some very very entertaining game fives here this year. Sure. Dead team and just gets it out of there for publicity or it's a shot off. For one minute in, no goals yet. Pirates right, going to go net, off the though. post. It's a post, yeah. Double whiff from Frog Boy and some. I believe night shot, night guy. Pirates looking for a shot. Uh, Take the post and shoot. Frog, Frog Boy, Boy with the save. Big save from Frog Boy keeps this game scoreless. Oh, that was a good chance there for White Scott to go up. One a shot. Save oh. from Dash J-Man. Still in front. Score. Publicity with a rebound. Yeah, definitely a scary touch, but there wasn't much more that could happen. I mean, maybe if Dad's J-Man would have just let it go past, but no, that was going in. I'm almost positive. There wasn't really much that could have been done. Yeah, I mean, the good, save from, good save from Dad's J-Man, but the rebound is there. The fight guys take the early lead here. Yeah, they're doing a really good job at breaking up SVSU's offense, and, you know, maybe they're not having the craziest clip-worthy shots, oh. but if you just break down the offense, then that's really all you have to do. We have another quick goal here to fight Scots are back on the attack. Yes, you need to desperately clear those balls. Look like and they're playing, they're playing very divisive. You can see one guy goes for a fake, and then the other one goes in to actually hit it. Publicity. It's really tripping up SBSU. Centering for Pirates. Pirates going for the shot. Scores. Pirates with the second goal for the Fighting Scots here in a matter of seconds. And Felicity gets past two there to see. Sets it up. Pirates perfectly, and probably not able to get there in time. 2-1 Fighting Scots in their match point game here. They could sweep SBSU, but... Three minutes left, a lot of game left though. Rest oh yeah, not even halfway get through. Back from this, yeah. So far, SVSU on the defense, not a lot of offensive. You know, they're gonna try and change that here. Yeah, if SVSU can get a little bit like more communication, a little bit more passing plays, I definitely definitely think some goals can be scored. The the uh, the Fighting Scots goal is definitely left unattended a lot, just not when when SBSU is trying to lock it down on offense. Yeah. I think if they can lob some in and get quick aerials, then they'd be able to definitely just catch them off guard. Oh, for but, sure. But yeah, as soon as as soon as soon SBSU tries to press for offense, they lock it down on defense, and there's not much that can be done. Phil is kind of in the neutral zone here at SBSU. They're going to try and cross this one here, but Night Guy putting it back in the center. Booth from also contesting here. Kind of playing passive right now. Yeah, Jamie up the shot. Was there or just got in position to save it? Broadway gonna go. That's gonna hopefully bounce right down. Yeah, that's kind of what yeah. he wanted. Just not in front of the goal, unfortunately. Yeah, hit. that's gonna be an easy shot. save. But can we follow it with up? Broadway the rebound. Another oh, double the 50. double miss. Oh, and that then guy the, gets that man. That's not good. No, he's gonna. Oh, oh miss the center. That guy chokes. Yeah. Very unfortunately. This is the center for a possible third goal. Now it's M from Butcher on the attack here. Then was Pirates by accident, I believe. But I gotta say out of that. Shot on net. Frog Boy misses and Night Guy scores. Tough angle. Yeah, tough angle save for Frog Boy there. But yeah, good hit from Night Guy. Just puts it on net. It's literally the guy to do sometimes and it goes in. And, and that's exactly guy. what I was talking about is those shots were, you know, the Fighting Scots weren't necessarily trying to lock it down on offense yet. So SVSU and their mentality, they, they were looking for passes and for setups. And then that went straight in. There, everybody had an awkward angle to make a save. There wasn't much Ooh, that could be done. There. That Pirates looks like it's going to also be going oh, in. Oh, Night Guy scores. And they're just wow. hammering us in this game. Two back-to-back -back goals here. Gets the 4-0 lead in game three. Fight Scott's pulling it right now. As another face-off win, though. Going off from the Fighting Scots and getting a great scoring attempt. We've seen a lot of that tonight. So. Hard boy, though, good face out one for SVSU. Bushroom, shot on net. Ah, oh, another Pirates save from Pirates. Yeah. Good demo there, Pirates on Bushroom. Ball got cleared. It looks like they are going for it. 50. Pirates going for a shot. Going for the crossbar, but Dad Jamin gets it out of there anyways. Sending Mushroom up on offense. Dad Jamin is there to receive that second ball. They got the shot. Hands off to Frog Boy. And another score Night from guy. Night Guy. Etrick for Night Guy here. Having a good scoring game here for sure. Able to get a quick shot off. Frog Boy's not able to get over in time and save that one. So. And no, I gotta say, publicity here. He was he was kind of MVPing. Same with Pirates those first couple of games. But Night Guy's really been pulling it out of the. Pulling rabbits out of his hat this game. Yeah, for sure. The guy going up for the backboard. And the 
to get directly down when he gets it out of there. 5-0 for the fight in Scots right now. Game three, one minute left. And SVSU just not able to penetrate that goal. Yeah. That guy looking for a shot. shot. Crossbar. It's going to be put in by Blitzity. The, the, the post. Step. The SG man able to clears. Clear. Wow. I've seen a lot of those kind of situations where it's just shot after shot. It hits the post. It's the wall. Nothing happens. But Definitely. Yeah. You get. You got to. You, you really have to clear the ball in those scenarios. You can't be giving them opportunity after opportunity. Ooh. Shot from Blitzity. The sad. Save from the SG man. Oh yeah, you cannot be letting him have this many rebounds, that is for sure. Who's from the shot? Hits the post. Off the oh, post, just getting killed by the post. That's game at the Maybe shot. Maybe overnight guy, night guy making a save. Yeah. Man, unfortunate here for SVSU. Oh, yeah. I missed that one, the bad game in there. There's a big clear. Very forceful game here played by, by the Fighting Scots. You, you gotta hand it to them. They're... Oh yeah, for sure. You know, maybe maybe game one you could have you could have given off to some junk bullets. Game game two, it, it was overtime. It's stressful, but this it, the, the fighting cats definitely they are, they showed their strength. Yeah, and that is it. I believe the fighting cats will take this one 3-0 and a sweep over SCSU. For which means the Fighting Scots will be advancing onto round two of playoffs. Uh, SVSU White, unfortunately, being knocked out in round one of playoffs. Yeah. But do not hang your heads, viewers, because we still have one more match to go. SVSU Blue Team is going to be playing Defiance College at 8 p.m. Uh, in about 27 minutes. And we will be back at you shortly after a brief intermission. Yep. We hope to see you here for the big playoff SVSU Cardinals versus Defiance Hornets game. See you soon. Yeah, stick around. Don't cut off.